I just want to brag about my superpower that I picked up this summer. Okay, what's your superpower? It's being impervious to the heat. Uh, please elaborate. All right. So, so I, I believe I've mentioned it before, but in the remodel, I got a steam shower, uh-huh. which is basically I can just turn my shower into a steam room. Okay. And uh, th- when we finished, I started doing it every day. So I do 20 minutes, and I started at 110 degrees. And 110 degrees in a sa- or in a steam room, yeah, it's hot. Okay. Like to compare, I can sit in a in a sauna, which is dry. You know, it's dry heat at 180 degrees for 20 minutes, yeah. and feel better than 20 minutes at 110 degrees in the steam shower. And 110 degrees that's in a steam shower is like the average Tennessee day right now. It's pretty close to it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, this, but actually, it's pretty close to it. So I upped the steam shower a couple of weeks ago to 115 degrees. Ooh. And when I go outside. Uh, and so, just so everybody's listening, we live in we live in Nashville, and this is the worst time to it live is. in Nashville because it's it'll be you know high nineties with eighty five plus percent humidity. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, if you don't know how heat index works, it's too humid here for us to uh, to um, uh, for sweat to evaporate off our skins, and so we just or our skin, so we just get wet mm-hmm. and we stay wet the entire time, and That's we get hot and we stay hot. Uh, but I've been impervious to the heat. In that it just hasn't bothered me. Yeah. I've been I've been out like outside doing stuff. Like I sweat profusely mm-hmm. now because my body's conditioned to get hot, and that's just something that happens when you do exercise on a regular basis or you you do the a sauna or something. It's like your body's like, oh, we're going there. Yeah, just gush sweat. Yep. And so apart from the sweat, uh, I just feel comfortable outside, and yeah. so uh, I'm pretty sure that makes me better than everybody else. Well. Um, or almost as good as me, because I can be out in 110 degrees and it doesn't bother me at all. I've always been. I can run 10 miles, not drink a thing. And uh, Well, I'm, I'm coming for you then. Yes. Um, and, and to the point where my running buddies used to call me the camel mm-hmm. because I, I never needed water. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I, But I used to go for a 20-mile run, usually in trails, so I didn't have direct sun. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's still hot though. It's hot. Yeah. And muggy. And, um, I could do that with just one handheld water. Oh, that's cool. Do the 20 miles. Yeah. I'm I don't thinking. know. I, I say that's cool, but is it really though? <laughs> Cause like, did you hurt your body when you're doing that? Uh, I've done so. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Of course.